I am uh, an honorable Ayodele Thomas Fadi, a former member of Lagos State House of Assembly. The advantage of closing that border, of our borders, is a welcome development to me. Because in 1999, on the floor of Lagos State House of Assembly, the procedures as they were at the bookshop, they should go and buy it. I adv advocated that the borders should be closed. That we all should sit down at home after the mirage of misrule of the military administration then. That we should close our borders for two years. But nobody took me serious. That was when Chief, the president then, Chief, Chief uh, Olusegun Obasanjo was traveling all that he left to right, right to left. Looking for what? Economic investors. No. That was when the governors of various states, too, when they saw the attitude of the president then, they too, they took it to the sky. They decided not to even wait at home. That was what gave Alain Messi, a late governor of Bayesta State, and some other governors. They took our money away and they mismanaged them. But one thing I knew is that the advantage, the advantage of this one, it's a very welcome development. Number one, those who, who decided to smuggle things inside, they are not paying duty to the customs here. They only pay to the customs as the Republic of Benin. How can you be operating here, then you paying duties to other countries? For what? That is bad. You see the actions of the Ghanaian citizen. To me, anybody that opposed this border closure should be treated as a saboteur. Yes, a saboteur. Because, because that person is an enemy of this country. Yes. And look at what happened in uh, 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 Zimbabwe. Look at it. Total mismanagement and collapse of the, the of their economy. And it is true. We don't want that to happen in this country. To me, as a person, I, I am in support of uh, President Muhammad Buhari. Anyone that is against the border closure is an enemy of this country and should be treated as a saboteur. But let me remind you again, there is another saboteur in which the federal government themselves they knew. There are all these uh, electrical something, this in Nepal or what did they call They call them disco. They too are saboteurs because the thief from the people. The people were forced to pay for services not rendered by those discos. That is a fraud. It is a fraud. And they should be treated because they are not encouraging the people. They themselves they are not making the people to be happy. Because a lot of uh, 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 businesses relied on electricity in this country. That is why you see all these Alokata people, uh, all these Marwa people. Because, and they cannot even they, they cannot even perform their duty. Most of them are technicians. Some of them are artisans. Because there is a lack of electricity, they have to find an alternative something in order to put uh, food on their tables. And I tell you something today. 
anyone that refuses to understand what President Buhari is doing in order to uplift this country is a saboteur. And that's the fact. I raise my case. 